Did you know you may have something in common with Rudy Giuliani, Tiger Woods, and maybe even Taylor Swift? If you've ever let a squeaker or a toot out at the worst place and time, you probably do. Keep watching to see when these celebrities and public figures truly slipped a foul fart on live TV. If there's one thing 2020 taught us, it's that former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani has had a lot of embarrassing on-screen moments. There was the infamous hair dye incident, and let's not forget when he farted during a hearing involving that year's presidential election. I will ask that he be, he be disciplined for that. <laughs> first of all, first of all. The woman sitting beside him, attorney Jenna Ellis, appeared a bit taken aback, as she clearly heard what America's mayor said, only it didn't come from his mouth. Fart number two occurred shortly after, when state representative Darren Camilleri asked if Giuliani was seeking a pre-pardon from Trump. The answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness. Props to her for not breaking out in laughter like the rest of us. When gas escapes from the two places it can, it's either embarrassing or funny. Unfortunately for Wendy Williams, she happened to be hosting the Wendy Williams show when it happened to her. Just a matter of time. She's not lonely. <laughs> I apologize, I apologize. The event launched a round of hashtag Fartgate on social media in reference to Williams, and not for the first time. According to Vice, the former shock jock previously denied passing gas on camera in January 2020 and was forced to address the on-air flatulence rumor in July 2021 on Radio Andy. Wendy claimed the sound wasn't what the audience believed it to be, but rather a crew member prepping for an upcoming segment, ultimately saying, That keeps going around. It's so fu <laughs> It's so disgusting. Like, people are so weird with that. I didn't pass gas. Look. Unless you follow politics, you may not know the name Eric Swalwell, but if you're on Twitter, there's a good chance you've heard of him for all the wrong reasons. According to the New York Post, during an interview on MSNBC's Hardball with Chris Matthews, an unfortunate sound briefly interrupted what the California Democratic congressman was saying in 2019. Chris, so far, the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. It's clear that there was indeed the sound of flatulence, and Swalwell paused at the moment it occurred, but the representative has since denied it. The hashtag Fartgate dominated Swalwell's headlines, and he even went on Late Night with Seth Meyers to, among other things, deny that he dealt it. So you're claiming this yeah. is you, absolutely not. Yeah. Total exoneration. Total yeah. exoneration. Yeah. Wood's conduct on the golf course has drawn attention over the years, and his flatulence has often taken center stage. Apparently, Woods farts while playing fairly often. One instance happened in 2009 while he was waiting on the group ahead of him at the Buick Open. It's interesting that uh, all three of his 09 wins have been in his last... Farts make people laugh, which is a good thing. Just ask the hosts of ESPN FC's Extra Time, as one particular incident left one co-host crying laughing in August 2021. Alejandro Moreno was discussing a point when the event occurred. Up until last year, so... <laughs> 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 okay, okay. This led to Kay Murray absolutely losing it, even going so far as to wipe tears from her eyes. When Moreno asked Kay if she was okay, she replied, yeah. Sounds like you had something to say. <laughs> Stevie Nichol then admitted to being the culprit, playing it off as a joke. I'm not going to say it because somebody would say well, whatever I said stunk, so I'm not going to yeah. do that. So I'm not going to do that. You said plenty already. <laughs> After Phil Simms walked off the football field for the last time in January 1994, he moved into sports broadcasting alongside Jim Nance. In January 2017, the camera cut to the two guys during a break in the AFC wildcard playoff game's third quarter. And in a potent of things to come, the sportscasters discussed the weather. I think it's warmed up though, Jim, just to talk about the atmosphere of the game. What do you think? Are you warmer now than you were earlier in the game? Or are you just numb? I'm fine. Okay. I'm worried about you. Taylor Swift, whose public persona is synonymous with class, poise, and elegance, doesn't seem like someone who would fart on television, even accidentally. However, there's some rather loud evidence that suggests that Swift did indeed break audible wind while on air. During the live pre-show for the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards, Swift introduced the premiere of her Wildest Dreams music video. But just after announcing that it starred Scott Eastwood, something else rang out. It's our third video working together, starring Scott Eastwood. Here's the video for Wildest Dreams! Woo! It looked like a fart and sounded like a fart, but MTV denied it was a fart. A network representative told TMZ that because of the position of Swift's microphone, there would be, quote, absolutely no possibility of it capturing that noise. Officially, the noise that sounded like a fart was chalked up to a technical glitch. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about live TV bloopers are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.